Hi and welcome back. Today I am answering a question that I got through my YouTube channel which was from someone who struggled with self-harm and they said help I haven't self-harmed for over a year and I slipped today and I hurt myself what do I do next and I thought this was a really important thing to tackle because it's very very difficult when you have struggled with self-harm in the past if you do have a moment when things aren't going okay again knowing how to pick yourself back up after that can be really hard so my advice for this is first of all it doesn't mean that you failed you need to bear this in mind as a blip a slip a trip it doesn't mean that you've fallen all the way back down the mountain it just means that there's been a little you know crook in the path on the way up so once you have self-harmed once even if you haven't done it for years that does not automatically mean that you're sucked straight back into this self-harm cycle it can feel like that because we feel like we've succeeded we've succeeded we've succeeded we've failed and that's often how our thinking is but we need to try really really hard not to allow that kind of thinking to overcome us it's not a fail it's a slip we're gonna pick ourselves back up and we're gonna continue on walking head held high and um, and the thing to bear in mind with that is if you can pick yourself up after a minor slip a minor blip with your self-harm that's amazing actually it's much more impressive to continue to not self-harm once you've done it you know once again um, because that kind of reminds your body all the reasons why you used to do it um, and if you're able not to do it again that's really quite incredible so yeah number one we need to be forgiving of, of ourselves of having a slip having a blip um, number two is to be open and honest with the people who might be able to support us so we are in quite a vulnerable position at the point at which we um, self-harm again for the first time in a long time not least because there will be something that has caused this to happen so there's going to be something underlying emotionally or an experience that has made us return to the self-harm now if there's someone that we've been able to trust in the past this is the moment to pick up the phone go and talk to them open up to them and let them know I'm having a bit of a difficult moment at the minute is there any chance that you can support me? What the support looks like will be different for everyone. But actually, being open and honest and allowing people to know that, yeah, I'm really struggling right now and I might need just a little bit of extra help, really, really helpful. Number three is to think about what alternatives can you turn to if your thinking goes there again. So this is something we think about a lot all the time anyway, but we need to do this more when we're at most danger of self-harming. So we're thinking... Why did I slip then? It, was there a trigger that I can avoid or change? Or did it provide me with some sort of feeling or relief that I am able to get in another way? So you're thinking there about what were the feelings that went with the self-harm? What was I feeling like before? What did I feel like after? And how can I either avoid those feelings before or how can I mimic those feelings of after in a way that doesn't cause physical harm to myself? I hope that helps a little bit. Really simple ideas, but actually the main thing here is about taking stock, about realizing that you can self-harm once and then sort of jump back on the wagon as it were. One incident of self-harm does not mean that you are falling back into that cycle. And I can say that hand on heart as someone who was completely clean for over a year, um, and then I slipped and had one self-harm incident. Um, and I had that exact same feeling that this person asked the question about, that exact same feeling of thinking, oh, well, it's all completely helpless now. I'm back at square one. But I had a good friend who I confided in, and he helped me, and I climbed back on the wagon, and it was just that one time. And now it's six months on again from that, and I look back at that time, and actually I feel, I feel incredibly proud that I managed to not only self-harm, but then not do it again. So that's it. Try not to let it draw you back in. Work with those around you and forgive yourself. It's okay. It's okay. And you can do this. Good luck. I hope you found this helpful. Please take a moment to like it if you did. Leave a comment below with any other suggestions that you have or ideas for future videos. And if you want to hear from more from me in the future, then please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.